So let's talk about notes. Now, I know what you're thinking, Matt. You're making another note-taking video. I know it's a meme at this point. I have a problem. Now, I wrote a blog post over on my personal blog, which I'll link down below, talking about this stuff in more detail and more, you know, thoughtfully written other than just me sitting here rambling about stuff. But I have hit my wits end when it comes to my note-taking situation. So I thought I had it figured out, as I usually do, and then... I, I realized I didn't have it figured out. So the, the thing is, is that you guys know that I take a lot of notes. I take, I, I probably have 50,000 notes spread over a lot of different directories on my system, on external hard drives, on mobile phones. They're all over the place. Nothing's really all put together in one system because I've moved around so much. And that's not conducive to a good workflow. I've always known it. I've tried to stop. I like note-taking applications, guys. I really, really do. It's one of, one of my favorite things to look at on this channel. I've made a lot of videos about it. And even before I had the channel, I enjoyed trying out new note-taking applications. And that has led to a mess when it comes to my note-take, my notes. Like, the actual notes are in so many different places. And they're, you know, not all formatted exactly the same. Some of them are in Markdown. Some of them are WYSIWYG, you know. So, so it's not... It's not a cohesive or efficient way of doing notes, and it has never has been. Now, for the last six months or so, I've been using an application called Memos. Memos is a self-hosted note-taking application. I may have discussed it on the podcast at one point. It's really quite good. It reminds me a lot of Google Keep, which is what I used before. Uh, you know, I started moving around so much, and... It's really actually quite good, but the biggest issue I have with it is it does not have a mobile application. So I take the vast majority of my notes on my mobile phone. And without a mobile application, it's really hard to take notes over there. Now, I did, was able to save the web page and make basically make a, a progressive web app out of it. It worked okay, but it was obnoxiously slow, and that kept me from wanting to make my notes. So I usually ended up using something else. And it wasn't a good, a very good experience. I've been using it for six months. It's been fine, but it hasn't been a, a nice experience. So here I am again. Where do I go now? Because I'm, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. If you remember back two years ago when I first started my two-year Linux challenge, I was distro hopping a lot. Like I was, you know, maybe I wasn't like the king distro hopper out, of, out there because I know some people who switch way more than I do or, or did. But I switched a lot. Every time I encountered a problem, I would hop. I needed to stop that. I needed to find a home, at least for two years, and just be happy there. And I did with OpenSUSE. It's a great distro, and it's been a, a, a good experience for me just being, you know, learning how to do stuff here, you know, making sure everything, you know, is, has my, I have the ability to fix everything. It, it's been good. When it comes to note taking, I need that stability because I'm sick and tired of you know you know. I wrote that down, I, you know. I, I cause my memory is crap, so I like. But I know I wrote something down, and the problem is I can't just go to an app and find that thing because maybe it was you know seven months ago before I started using memos. So is it in Obsidian? Is it in? A random file somewhere on my hard drive is it not on my hard drive at all maybe it's on another computer maybe it's on my mobile phone and the like the samsung notes application or the uh, the apple notes when i was using an iphone i don't know how am i supposed to remember that i didn't write that down <laughs> you know so i can't do it anymore i cannot do this anymore so i need to find my own two-year note-taking challenge if you will and I've decided to use Obsidian. Now, I have made a video before saying I was switching to Obsidian. And you'll notice that I didn't, you know, stick with that. Granted, I didn't challenge myself to do that. But this time, I am doing that. And the problem is, is I need to create my own system. So, I, as I talked about in the blog post, what I've been searching for for the last two or three years, basically since I've decided I wanted to leave Google Keep, was I want to find the perfect the perfect the, the the I wanted to find the perfect note taking solution for me. Now I'm not looking for a perfect application. I'm more looking one that suits my workflow perfectly. And that just doesn't exist. It does not exist. So what I've decided to do is to craft my own. Now I can't code at all. 
So, and I, I don't even pretend really that I can code. I, I say that I have familiar with C and I do, but I don't know enough that I could actually go through and code something in C or even Python. I've spent a lot of time learning Python. I still wouldn't consider myself a coder, but what I can do is build my note-taking solution on the efforts of others. And the way I'm going to do that is with Obsidian on the desktop. And one of the nice things about Obsidian is that I can store my vault inside of Nextcloud, which will sync it to my mobile device. And then I can use either Obsidian on here, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to use an application called QuillPad. Now, you guys probably won't be able to see that too well. It's going to be pretty blurry, and I'll, I'll post a screenshot or something here. It's basically Google Keep, kind of, but with a, little bit, a few more features. It allows you to do notebooks and tags and stuff like that. So... It's very simple, but what it does, it will allow me to, because Obsidian stores everything in a Markdown file, and this supports Markdown, I can connect the two via Nextcloud and have all my notes on mobile in a very simple interface, so I can just add a note, very simple, and it will go in my default notes folder, and, and then it's synced via Nextcloud on my desktop. So between ne uh, Nextcloud, or excuse me, between Obsidian and QuillPad, I will be able to have a cohesive note-taking experience. Now, you know, you're, I know what you're thinking. Matt, you've done this before. You have said you've found the ultimate solution before. I know. I know. But, as I said, I didn't challenge myself before. So I'm challenging myself this time to use this solution for five years. Now, I know that's a long time. It is, it is a very long time, but... Unlike with a distro, I need this to be stable and consistent. Like if, if I had to hop to a different distro, I could do so. And it wouldn't be that hard. Taking my home directory to another distro, not that hard. Taking my notes from one app to another, sometimes not hard. Sometimes it's hard. Oftentimes I leave things behind. And I can't keep switching back and forth. It's just not easy to do. It's not something I want to do anymore. As I said, I'm ready for a home. And this has to be it. Like I think that between being able to craft Obsidian to however I want it with a, with plugins and all sorts of stuff and how good QuillPad has been for the week that I've been using it. It has, it, I think that this is the solution. Now, five years is a long time. So it, it, it feels very rough on me. I'm going to do this. I, I can do it. And what I want to do is challenge you guys to tell me what your current note-taking system is. And if you have the same problem that I do, because I know quite a few people out there actually do have this, I'm not going to call it an obsession, but a very unique interest in looking at note-taking solutions. And they often move from one to another like I do. If you are in that situation, I challenge you to find yourself a home. Whether it's Obsidian or Memos or Evernote or Notes Nook or whatever it is. Find yourself a home and stick with it for a period of time and see how well you do. Because switching around isn't good for your, your, your efficiency, your productivity, any of that stuff. Any of the reasons why you want to keep notes, switching around constantly isn't good for any of that stuff. So I challenge you, if you're in my situation, to find a home as well. If you have always had the same note taking in your note taking solution, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. What, have, what do you use? How do you do your own notes? I'm not going to find inspiration from you because I've found the way that I do my notes. I'm not going to be inspired. But if you use like Obsidian or whatever, maybe there's a plugin that you'd like to share. So in the comment section below, I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. There you'll get a exclusive weekly podcast. Basically, it's just me sitting down in front of this microphone, yapping for about 15 minutes on whatever topic floats to the head of my crazy mind. So if that's something that interests you, you can head on over there, support me there, or on YouTube, you'll get the exact same access. You can also support me by going over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find awesome hats like this one, <laughs> which I was supposed to wear at the beginning of the hat, beginning, but I didn't. You can also find t-shirts and stickers and backpacks and desk mats and all sorts of stuff there. Uh, all the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So I'm losing my voice. I need to obviously stop recording for the day. So that's going to be the it for this one. Thank you guys for your support. All you guys who support me on Patreon, YouTube, you guys just seriously, thank you so very much for your support. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. So thank you so very much for, for everything. 
Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to go figure out what the hell is going on with my voice. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.